Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, I had discussed the canonical representation of the Boolean expression. We have seen that they can be either expressed in the form of sum of products or product of sums. Canonical form means each term contains all input variables. But it is not always the case that we are given with the canonical expressions. We might come across certain Boolean expressions in which in few terms one of the variables or two variables are missing. So that is actually a non-standard form. A non-standard form can be converted into standard form by following certain steps which are different for SOP expressions and POS expressions. In this video, I will discuss how can we convert the non-canonical -can Boolean expressions into canonical for both POS expressions as well as for SOP expressions. Now let's start with the conversion of non-standard or non-canonical SOP into canonical SOP. Let's say we are given a, with a Boolean expression y is equals to a b c plus a complement b plus a complement c. Now how can we convert this one into canonical form? So we need to follow certain steps. Now the first step is we need to identify that which variable is missing in which term. Like in this expression, in the second term variable c is missing while in the third expression variable b is missing. Now what we need to do, we need to add the missing term. How can we add the missing term? We can add it by using the fact that a plus a complement is always 1. Means any variable plus its complement always results in the value 1. So the variable which is missing, in place of that we are going to write it as 1 and then it will be replaced by that variable plus its complement. Like in this expression, if y is equals to a, b, c, in place of the missing variable, what I am writing? A complement B into 1. A complement into 1 into C. A, B, C, A complement B. Now, in place of 1, since variable C is missing, we can write C plus C complement because C plus C complement, as per the OR law, it is always 1. Similarly, in the third expression, in place of this one, we are going to write the missing variable that is b, b plus b complement into c. Now, we can apply the Boolean laws over here and we can change this one to a complement b c plus a complement b c complement, then a complement b c a complement, B complement, C. So each added term will result in two product terms. This one had resulted in these two product terms and this one had resulted in these two product terms. Now we need to check is there any repetitive term. So if it is rep getting repeated then we need to write it just once again because of use of our law, a plus a is always a. So let's check whether there is any term which is repetitive. Is there any term a, b, c? No. So y is equals to a, b, c. This term will be written as it is. a complement b, c. a complement b, c. This is getting repeated, so we need to write it just once. a complement b, c. Then we have a complement b c complement plus a complement b complement c. This is how we can change the non-canonical form to canonical form. Let's take another example. Question can be like convert 
y which is function of a b c a b complement plus a c plus a b into standard form now how can we do it y which is function of a b c in first term add c plus c complement since variable c is missing in second term variable b is missing so write b plus b complement in third term again c is missing a b c plus c complement now let's expand all these because each added variable and plus its complement will result in two product terms so we have a b complement c a b complement c complement a b c is a b complement c and the last one a b c a b c complement now let's see which terms are getting repeated a b c a b c so they will be written just once a b complement c a b complement c so two terms are getting repeated twice so we will write y is equals to a b complement c plus a b complement c complement plus a b c plus a b c complement so if we just look at this this one is the expression corresponding to main term 5 this one is the expression of main term 4 this is the expression of main term 7 while this one is the expression of main term 6 so y can also be written as 4 5 6 and 7 now let's look at that how can we convert <coughs> a non canonical pos to canonical ps again i am going to discuss it with the help of example only let's say we have expression y is equals to a plus b complement b plus c so what we see in this term variable c is missing in this variable a is missing now if we add zero to this that will not change the expression similarly again if i add zero over here that will not make any difference now what can we do in place of zero we can write the missing variable in in into its complement since as per or law a into a complement is always zero so if we have this expression then what will we do we'll write a plus b complement plus zero zero plus b plus c a plus b complement now in place of zero since variable c is missing we can write it as c plus c complement in this second sum term variable a is missing so in place of zero i can write a dot a complement plus b plus c now after this we can apply the boolean expression law which law a plus b c is equals to a plus b into a plus c so here we will consider this one as a this one as b and this one as c just for the analogy purpose that i am writing this one is one variable and this is second and this one is third so based on that how can we expand this one y can be written as a plus b complement plus c into a plus b complement plus c complement so addition of 
one variable over here that will result in two terms. Similarly, from the second term, we will have a plus b plus c to a complement plus b plus c. Now we need to check is there any term which is getting repeated. If it is there, then we need to remove it and we call it as a redundant term. And if it's not there, then we have expressed it in the standard form. Since over here we don't have any term which is repetitive, so that we can write the expression as it is. So if you just look at this, this one is the expression of min max term 5. A, so not max term 5, this is max term 2. This is the expression of max term 2, A0, B1, C0. Now this one is A0, B1, C1, this is max term 3. This one is max term 0. And this one is max term 4 because A is 1, B0, C0. So we can write the expression as M0234. Now let's take one more example to understand this. Convert Y. into canonical form now we have three sum terms first term contains all the variables so we don't need to do any change in the second term variable a is missing in the third term variable c is missing so let's add them and see that how the expression changes y is equals to a plus b complement plus c. In this we will write 0 plus b plus c complement a plus b plus 0. a plus b complement plus c. Now in place of 0 I am going to write the variable which is missing into its complement because a into a complement is always 0 plus b plus c complement a plus b plus c into c complement. Now let's again apply the same law. a plus b plus c. It will be written as a plus b plus c complement. a complement plus b plus c complement. This is the result of this term. And this term will again result in two terms. a plus b plus c. a plus b plus c complement. Now let's check which term is getting repeated. This term and this term they are repetitive terms. Now since a into a is always 1, so this term into this term is always, so not a into a is not always 1, a into a is always a. So this into this is always same. So we need to write just once. Then we have a complement plus b plus c complement plus a b plus c. Now this is which max term? 0 1 0 max term 2 0 0 1 max term 1 1 0 1 this is max term 5 and this one is max term 0. So y can be written as pi m 0, 1, 2 and 5. So this is how we can change the non-standard forms to standard forms. Now this can be extended to 4 variable. Again we need to use the same steps in that case also. I will do that in the coming videos. But in the next videos, I will move on to the K-maps, which is actually the technique more useful for minimization Boolean expression in comparison to the use of Boolean laws. 
Now, if you feel this video is helpful to you, consider subscribing to the channel. Like this video and share with your friends. Thanks for watching the video.